how to create nft for free on rarible hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can create and mint your nft on rarible.com so let's get started what you have to do is you will simply go to rarible.com and you will land on this platform right here rarible is one of the most famous and biggest nft platforms out there rarible is famous for selling trading and buying nfts you can create your own nfts right here on rarible and sell them online all of the famous collections are Rarible works on Ethereum blockchain and you can mint your Ethereum NFTs right here on Rarible. So without any further ado, let's jump into the process. Once you are on Rarible and now I want to create my own NFT right here. What I have to do is I will simply find the option of sign in right here. So the first thing is going to be signing in. I'm going to click right here on sign in and now we have to sign in with our metamask or mobile wallet or other options i'm gonna go ahead and sign with my metamask so we can get the option of ethereum flow tezos and now polygon is available too so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my metamask really quickly if you have no idea about metamask metamask is our crypto wallet that we get getting a metamask is super easy you can get a metamask as a google extension i'm gonna go ahead and simply add the password for my metamask and it will be connected to my variable so my metamask is connected to my variable i'm gonna go ahead and accept the terms and condition and proceed all right so you can see i have signed into my with my metamask and now i have my own account and i will be able to create my own nft on variable for free so let's try it you will find the option of create right here what you have to do is simply click on create and now we will be able to create our own nft the process has started the first thing is choosing a blockchain so we have four blockchains right now we have ethereum flow tazos and polygon on ethereum if you want to go with a gas free experience you can go with a polygon or you can also go with an ethereum so we know that on ethereum sometimes the gas fee is too much and sometimes we cannot actually pay the gas fee and it becomes really expensive so we can also go with polygon anytime i happen to have Matic network my i actually created my polygon network on my metamask so i do have polygon if i want to go with polygon that will be actually better for me you can see i can actually change my network to Matic, and there you go now i have polygon so i'm gonna go with polygon for just for you know gas free experience so i will again sign in with my polygon actually now or we can actually go with a simple ethereum most of people will be going with ethereum choosing blockchain totally depends on you because the next process is going to be similar so i'm going to quickly go ahead and sign in with my polygon so now the next step is choosing the type so if we have signed in with our wallet you want to go with ethereum it's okay you want to go with tezos you want to go with polygon that's totally up to you once you have chosen your blockchain the next step is going to be how many items you're going to mint on variable so i'm going to be minting a single item i'm not going with a multiple item so i'm going to go select this one so this is where we simply create our nft it's super easy so you can see right here my wallet is connected the first step is uploading the file we know we can upload any file mp3 mp4 png gif the maximum size should be 100 mb so i'm going to click on choose file and select my nft from my computer so this is my nft that i created and this is a simple png file so this is going to be my nft that i'm creating on Redable today and this is the preview right here once you have uploaded the file the next thing is going to be put on marketplace you can go with a fixed price open for bids or timed auction if you go open for bids then people will be able to place a bid on your nft they will bid according to the right price or for your nft or you can go with a fixed price i am going with a fixed price and you can see right here it is going to be in matic or we can also add an ethereum but i'm going with 
Polygon on Ethereum. Okay, let's go ahead and enter our price for the NFT. So for this NFT right here, I am going to be adding 0.05 Ethereum. So there is going to be a service fee, which is going to be 2.5% that Rarible will take out of my NFT. And I will be receiving 0.049 Ethereum, which is going to be $135. This is really good that actually Rarible tells us that what we will receive. So you can see right here, this is what I will get. Now, now we have choose collection you can simply go with different uh, you know tokens or collections that you have created so i'm going with variable singles but if you want to create a new one on erc721 you can do that in simple words it's just a collection don't worry with the names and you will get confused it's okay just go with variable singles if you're adding a single nft next step is going to be of course adding the name for our nft and description so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly add the name and description for my nft so i have typed in the name and description description is totally optional but i just wrote one word uh one line and after that we have royalties so this is really important what kind of royalties you want to receive when it comes to reselling your nft so i'm going with 10 percent. it is suggested to go with 10 percent, 20 percent, or maximum 50 percent. so i'm going with 10 percent right here then we also have advanced settings such as where we can add the properties for our nft so with properties i'm gonna go ahead and add few properties like color so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now simply type in color right here and then you can also type in what colors are available so it is yellow and then we have another property which is color and it is blue so these are going to be the properties and then we also have alternative text for our nft so once you're done with all of these settings all you have to do is click on create item and this nft will be created on variable so you can see right here now it is being minted it is being approved and then we can also put it up for sale so it's uploading and now it will just take a second to mint and once you confirm your minting then your product will be created on rarible and it will be shown just like this make sure you have a few of the funds deposited in your wallet and then it will just take like 2.5 percent fee and after that you will be able to mint your own nft right here on rarible you will be able to check all of your products right here in my profile go ahead and check out the products that you created on rarible and then you can simply sell them so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to tell you everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to create a nft on a rarible don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel